my lovelies, Chrissy Speaks. Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show. Welcome back, my lovelies. Wow. Okay, now. Okay, now. We're hearing some word from Chrissy, as well as some words from Vanessa. Yes. And, um, but pretty much, pretty much, let me pull up my uh, trusty Samsung, and we're going to get those docs. Because I'm going to read everything she says. So basically, Chrissy wants to give thanks. She wants to give thanks, you guys, because she's been going through it. Her and her daughters have been going through it. And they are still in the thick of things. But she did want to give an update. So I will read. Uh, let's, oh my goodness. Let me go on and read that update. Because I don't want to miss a word. Okay, come on, update, 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 update. Thank you. Okay, let's get started. She says, thank you. I'm so grateful for your support and kindness. And then Vanessa comes in and she says, she's just sending her love, sending you and your girls all of my love, sweet Chrissy. You are so strong and incredible. And then Chrissy responds, she says, because I have the support from you all. And, um, and then she goes on in her post, she says, words aren't enough to express my gratitude each and every one of you. I know you want to know if we're okay, and I appreciate you so much for that. But there are simply things that I am not able to share at this time. I hope you can understand. What I can tell you is that my girls and I are doing okay for now. The journey ahead of us is long and a little scary. But I'm keeping my head up and pushing through. We are in the process of finding new accommodations. If you're in California area and have some renting recommendation, please reach out. So it seems like she's staying in California a minute because I'm wondering, is she, she going to go back to South Africa? But it seems like she's trying to hang in California a minute. It's kind of pricey here, right? Hi, in California. And, but somebody, um, but she goes on, she says, I, um, We'll update you as much as I can on how things are progressing with us. Again, thank you for everything you have done for me and my girls. May your kindness be returned to you a hundred times over. And when the time comes, I promise to turn the kindness to you. Um, to turn the kindness you have shown me over the over to someone else in need. Please be safe and well. Let me read that again. And when the time comes. I promise to turn the kindness you have shown me over to someone else in need. Please be safe and well. And so somebody did reach out to her in the comments. Um, they said, I'm in California Bay Area and I have a rental that will be available ASAP. Please DM me and I can give you all the details. Now, the Bay Area is up north. That's even more pricier than Southern California. Okay, unless they're talking about the South Bay. But when people say the Bay Area, they're really talking about Northern Cal. But if they're talking about the South Bay, you know, either way, they're trying to help her out. That is great. Um, so she's just, you know, still in the thick of things and uh, trying to figure it out. I guess she's going to fight this out with Dimitri. And Ashley, because um, he is divorcing her. And I don't know um, why she's staying here or not, or is she, or she can't come back for some reason, or because it was stated that she didn't want to come back to South Africa. But for some reason, she has to stay here. I don't know. What do you guys think about that, lovelies? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Um... It is interesting. Or maybe you guys think maybe she's, maybe she probably has a, 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 a lawsuit or some sort. Maybe. Against uh, maybe TLC, Sharp Entertainment. TLC is just the network. Um, Sharp Entertainment is the production company that makes the show. And I use those words interchangeably, but it's really Sharp Entertainment. Is she gonna sue Sharp Entertainment? Or or Dimitri, he's broke, and if he if he has some coins, he knows how to hide them. 
So I don't know. I don't know. Um, but she does appreciate. She wants to give her thanks to everyone. I guess her two weeks are up and she's got to go somewhere else with her daughters. Because I heard that. Someone put it in the in the comments. One of my lovelies did that. I didn't understand what two weeks meant. And, but now I did later, a few days later, I figured it out. And so I guess her time is up wherever she was holding out with her daughters. So now she has to scramble and find somewhere new to go. Somewhere new to go. You would think um, the court would have ordered some kind of payment towards her from Dimitri since he is her husband. You would think that. But maybe he didn't file the next document to make sure. Yeah, it was, was 10 years and now it's through to Trump. You got to support those people for a lifetime unless, you know, they die or whatever. But, um, yeah, I, I guess he didn't fill that form out. He didn't sign that next document. Because people think that once you marry the person that they are tied to them financially, but not necessarily. There's another step after the K-1 visa. And that is to sign this document that's stating that you will be responsible for that person for now their lifetime. It used to be 10 years, now it's for their lifetime. So um, it's interesting. Um, if he didn't do it, he's still her husband. So he should. If they're being if he's divorcing her, but he claims he doesn't know her whereabouts. But it seems as if he should be making some kind of payment. But they haven't been married that long. So that's another little uh catch there they haven't been married that long but anyway i don't know do you think it's all worth all this i don't know i don't know my lovelies um but i don't know what's the whole gist maybe you guys can help me out and figure it out and put in, um dropping a line in the comments what do you guys think about all of this or what do you expect or suspect or have knowledge on about this whole situation Somebody was trying to get it from the comments, asking her if she's going to stay in the United States. She didn't answer that. And she didn't answer if she's going back to South Africa either. Even though that was the word on the street. But anyway, my lovelies, I'm going to leave it at here. You guys, you guys, give me your thoughts. Okay, drop a line down here below and um, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Because that's why you get, this is how you get the tea, people. It's how you get the tea by hitting the subscription bell and the notification bell because that notification bell is going to alert you when the tea is pouring my lovelies it is pouring all right i'll see you guys on the flip side